Hey everyone, Sean here, and today in this video, I wanted to really sit down and talk about the pity system for Honkai Star Rail, of course, that is the new hotness from Hoyleverse, the same creators, of course, for another kind of recent hotness, I guess, over the two years or, or so, Genshin Impact. And for those who are familiar with the Genshin Impact pity system, you will definitely be familiar here with this pity system. But if this is your first time playing a Hoyleverse game, then this is probably uh, important for you to know about the pity system. So I would tune in if you want to find out how that works because that would be really, really, really handy for you to optimize your, your gacha pulls for each banner that comes out over the course of this game, right? It's a gacha game. There's all there's, there's RNG, take that into mind. And not, uh, not everyone's experience will be on par with each other. So uh, take that into mind as you, you know, do these uh, gotcha polls and stuff like that so but anyways what is the pity system why is it important and all that fun stuff what is the pity system so the pity system is essentially get the game giving you pity for not getting a five star at a certain point so i believe around 70 polls is when it starts to sort of activate quote unquote and the, the more you uh roll f on that particular banner and don't get a five star then your rate of getting a five star kind of starts to steadily go up. And that goes all the way up to 90. And that is when you are pretty much guaranteed to be uh, getting a five star on whatever banner, like event banner, for example, right? Uh, standard banner, event banner, whatever. But um, there is something important about event banners uh, well, later on. But let's just focus on an event banner uh, for the sake of things. And basically you are worst case scenario guaranteed to be pulling uh someone like zele for example she's the current event character for right now so if you want to pull for zele uh you you can get her somewhere in 90 pulls if you don't get her by that point you are guaranteed to get a five star of sorts at the 90th pull very important because uh if this is not zele and you get a different five star from uh, the standard pool, right? So the these so these first ninety uh, polls, right? These first these set of ninety polls is called your 50-50, right? So once you get the seventy polls and then it starts to climb up, you're on now fifty fifty uh, pity, right? This is your first pity within the first ninety polls, so take that in mind, and that basically will allow you to be guaranteed a five star of sorts. Uh, and so you, the 50-50 means it's either going to be the fifth, the event character or the story character. So that's why it's called 50-50. And then within, of course, the standard characters, you have a bunch of characters, so it's, it, could, it could be random. So um, so you're pulling on Zele's banner, right? And then you go, let's say, let's say your five-star comes somewhere in those 90 pulls. If you don't have Zele... As that five star pull then somewhere within the next 90 pulls now you're guaranteed right you're guaranteed to get zele that's where it really starts to come in so first 90 pulls that's going to be your 50 50 banner or your 50 50 pity now your next 90 pulls is going to be your guaranteed pity somewhere remember that so you're yes you are while you are guaranteed now to get zele now you have to do a number of pulls and depending on your luck you're guaranteed to get zele as your next five stars so uh that's pretty much the ba the basics of the uh pity system for uh these sort of uh hoyo verse uh gacha games uh, same with genshin impact the same thing carries over to here in in star rail Although I think Star Rail works a little differently when it comes to four stars, but uh, you can kind of do a little more research on your own. But I believe basically, if you don't get the four star character from that banner, right? And you have to remember, there's three, uh, I believe, four star characters per event banner. Uh, if you don't get the four star character that's from the banner, then the next uh, temple will be a character from the banner of sorts or it might, be, it might be 20 or something like that somewhere it, it works kind of differently but similarly with four stars but 
let's focus on the five stars for right now because those because those because those are the the big boys or big girls or whatever, right? So, uh, so yeah. Um, so to reiterate, the first ninety pulls that's called the fifty fifty, uh, pity, right? And of course, it, again, it activates somewhere from seventy and 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 beyond. Now, when it comes to your next ninety pulls, if you don't get the five star character from the uh, from the banner, uh, Zele, for example. Now you're guaranteed to get Zele in the, somewhere in the guaranteed pity. So that's why it's called guaranteed pity. Because you're guaranteed to get the event character. Now here's the kicker, right? So uh, your number of pulls, whatever you do on one event banner, will actually carry over to um, the next banner. So let's say you want to just try to get um, Zele within the first 90 pulls somewhere. Or until you get a five star. If you don't get Zele in these set of pulls, right? And then you d decide to hold off and then you just want to save up for the next character who is going to be, I believe, Jing Yuan. Now you're guaranteed to get Jing Yuan because you already got through the 50 50 pity but didn't get Zele. But if you pull on uh, Jing Yuan, you are guaranteed to get. You're now guaranteed to get Jing Yuan in the next within the next ninety pulls. So yes. Uh, so, for, so for example, for me, I, I was actually trying to pull for uh, someone like Zele in that Zele banner just to see, right? But the five star that came up within, um, I want to say, I don't know, somewhere like fifty or something like that. I want to really check on my history, but um, that's another very important tool to use to find out your pity and stuff like that. So I didn't get Zele from from the five star I was able to activate. Uh, instead, I got Bronia. Bronia is part of the standard rotation. So that uh, pretty much burned my 50-50 pity. But because I because I didn't get Zele, uh, I am now on guaranteed pity. But I decided, I now decided to save up for Jing Yuan because after seeing you know, his personality, his abilities, his attacks, and stuff like that. I want uh, Jing, uh, Jing Yuan, so I'm going to hold on to my uh, my gems and stuff like that. And uh, I can hold on to my guaranteed pity for Jing Yuan, because uh, I'm guaranteed to get Jing Yuan as long as I save up. So that's how, kind of how it works. That's really awesome that uh, this pity system actually carries over to... Um, yeah, you know, the, the next event banner. So if you want to get Ze uh, Zele, you you can try to get Jing Yuan, or if you don't want to get Jing Yuan, you can save up for someone after Jing Yuan. That's kind of how it works. So what pe what people some people like to do is build up pity, right? Building pity is kind of like a myth. It's kind of like copium, right? It's like oh, I mean, you know, um, it's kind of like a way to try to fish out another five star from the current banner but then it's like oh if i don't get the five star or whatever i still have those same of same number of pulls carrying over to the next banner so that's why it's called building a pity which for the most part you don't want to do but so what most people do anyway like myself i i do it from time to time because i want to fish out a certain four star character or try to get lucky and get another five star character along the way that's kind of how what happens with building pity so it's kind of it's it's like a myth slash copium slash just like this mechanism that people tend to do. I'm guilty of that as well, but just be just remember though, it is RNG. Anything can happen within one pull, five pulls, ten pulls, all the way up to fifty, sixty, ninety. Right. So um, sometimes you can get a double five star within the same ten pull. Right. You know, luck is always a thing in these uh gacha games you have to remember that so just because i get a character uh around 80 pulls doesn't mean you're going to get a character a five star character within those 80 pulls everyone's experiences will be uh varied it's going to be different your mileage will vary all that stuff so just re remember to take that into consideration so you don't set yourself up for disappointment uh, another thing to take into and uh it just will be very helpful is the history page. The history page will absolutely show you how many polls you've done on this 
on this banner or whatever and it will definitely definitely help you out you know where you are with your pity and stuff like that so if you're around 70 you can kind of save that pity the the pity system for whichever character right so if you want Jing Yuan then save it for Jing Yuan right uh, if you want to go for Zele, then, then just then just go all out for Zele, right? So that's kind of how it works. You have to pick and choose. If you're more of a free-to-play player, you know, you got to pick and choose who you want. And remember, though, uh, pick the characters that you have fun with or you feel like they're really cool personality-wise, design-wise, and attack-wise, and stuff like that. Um, if anything aesthetics that you like from that character, if, if you think they're really cool, go for that character. Um, that's like the most optimal way to have fun. That's very important for just playing a game in general, just to have fun, right? Don't try to be like the meta slave. Oh, I gotta have this five star character. I gotta have this five star character. I gotta have this five star character just because they're five stars and stuff like that. Try not to give into that. Um, but I understand, right? You want him to feel powerful, whatever, uh, and all that in between. But essentially, overall, this pity system allows you to be guaranteed a five star somewhere in your pulls so just to reiterate your first 90 pulls somewhere is your 50 50 pity and then your next 90 pulls is your guaranteed pity somewhere right the keyword so you, you could get lucky and get the pity uh get the five stars early or late that's what happens right so take that into mind use the history page as your tool and you're all set you know you're pretty much like Understanding the system, understanding when you're going to get that character, you can definitely pick and choose who you want and get that five star character that you want. Uh, but pretty much once you understand how the pity system works, so that take that into consideration and take everything else into mind about gacha games and be very, very careful, but most importantly, have fun. So that's pretty much all I got for this uh, video here for the pity system in Honkai Star Rail. If you have any quite further questions, of course, I'll be more than happy to uh, answer those questions as best as possible. Any comment section below, of course, uh, feel free to ask, and I will I will answer them best as possible. Don't forget to like and subscribe, of course, as a friendly reminder. Really do appreciate, guys. And then, if you want to further support the channel somehow, some way, there are ways uh, other than doing the, doing those the thumbs up and whatever in the description below. You know, if you want merchandise, if you want something else, it's in the description below. You know, if you if you want to take uh, time for to look through that stuff. But anyway, most importantly though, know the pay, pay system for Honkai Star Rail, and you'll be on your way to get the five stars that you want in the lifetime of this game. So it's gonna be a long long run, just like with Genshin Impact. So understanding the pity system ahead of time is going to get you optimized to again get the characters you want. So have fun with that. And uh, thank you very much for tuning in for this video. Uh, thank you very much. And hope to see you all in the next one. Sean out.